Good day, students and teachers, and welcome to our science online class. Our topic for today, microwaves under electromagnetic waves. I am Sir Mao, and I will be your facilitator for this topic. This presentation is powered by DLSAU Farm. Microwaves used in images used on TV, weather news, and to cook our food. Microwaves are a portion or band found at the higher frequency end of the radio spectrum, but they are commonly distinguished from radio waves because of the technologies used to access them. The microwave region extends from 1,000 to 300,000 megahertz or 30 centimeters to one millimeter wavelength. So in this uh, electromagnetic spectrum chart, the microwave is located in this area. Microwaves are principal carriers of high-speed data transmissions between stations on Earth and between ground-based stations and satellites and space probes. A system of synchronous satellites about 36,000 kilometers above Earth is used for international broadband of all kinds of communications, example, television and telephone. Microwave transmitters and receivers are parabolic dish antennas. They produce microwave beams whose spreading angle is proportional to the ratio of the wavelength of the constituent waves to the diameter of the dish. So, application of microwaves are microwave radar or radio detection and ranging. Therefore, widely used for guiding airplanes and vessels and for detecting speeding motorists. Another use of radars is as speed guns. These speed guns help, help time fastballs, tennis serves, and automobiles. These waves form the basis of microwave ovens. In microwave ovens, the frequency of the microwaves is selected to match the resonant frequency of the water molecules. This results in a direct transfer of energy from the waves to kinetic energy of the water molecules raising the temperature of any food containing water. So, a Doppler radar is a radar using the Doppler effect of the returned echoes from targets to measure their radial velocity. So, in this GIF, we have Typhoon Haiyan in the year 2013, known in the Philippines as Super Typhoon Yolanda. It, is, was, it was one of the most powerful tropical cyclones ever recorded. On making landfall, Haiyan devastated portions of Southeast Asia, particularly the Philippines. It is one of the deadliest Philippine typhoons on record, killing at least 6,300 people in our country alone. So, let's discuss the science of microwave oven. So, a transformer converts the standard household electricity of 120 volts to around 4,000 volts of higher to power the magnetron. The component inside the microwave oven that generates microwaves from electricity. So, that the voltage heats a filament at the center of the magnetron that boils off electron. The electron are whirled around by two ring magnets. This creates microwaves at specific frequency, typically, typically 2.45 gigahertz. So a microwave is transmitted into a cooking chamber by an antenna. The microwaves bounce around inside the cooking compartment, ev eventually penetrating the food, in turn heating it up. The microwave door contains a metal mesh with holes that are small enough so that microwaves can't escape, but visible light can, so we can see what's cooking inside. Most microwaves have a revolving glass turntable that moves the food around so it heats evenly. So that's the science of the microwave oven. Thank you for listening.